This time on Ask Rad Rat, we talk about whether skateboarders should have their own country. Sneak preview, the answer is no. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Rad Rat Video, a channel you can learn new things about skateboarding. I answer your questions, I review old skateboarding games, I play new skateboarding games, I teach tricks sometimes, I do mini biographies of skateboarders and history stuff in physics, and if any of that sounds good to you, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Today I'm answering questions though. The first one is from Sarah who lives in New York City and is having to skate in the cold a lot. She says uh, that having thick socks uh, doesn't work because I lose board control. What shoes would you recommend for keeping your feet warm that are also good for skating? Or are there any other solutions you can think of? I grew up in Michigan, which is about the same from a climate perspective as New York, so I definitely know what you're talking about. Um, you're trying to skate and everything is freezing all the time. And you, you don't want to get too cold. Like I wouldn't wear gloves ever and my hands would turn gray and like I could barely move my fingers. Like I'm putting 100% into it and my hands don't want to bend. If you haven't skated in the extreme cold before, um, it also makes things hurt more. So if you fall and you catch yourself, um, it hurts so much worse. I don't know what it is, like if it's a blood flow thing or, or whatever. It's just torture all the way around. But what can you do about your feet? Um, I think the best answer is that you have to just wear a big thick socks or a heavy shoes and get used to it. I think that's really all there is to it. Um, but it's not that bad trying to get used to uh, something new. Like if you watch any skate video from like 98 to 2003 or something like that, um, the shoes that they're all, all skating are super thick. They're huge. You can't feel anything. And yet they did just fine. You know, like it's not ideal. Ideally you'd be at an indoor skate park that's warm and you'd be fine, but um, you, get, you gotta do what you gotta do. So recently I was filming a trick. I was doing a uh, tricks and tribulations video where I was doing a trick and I was having trouble with it. My foot kept slipping and I thought maybe I'll try some new shoes. Well, the only shoes I had were some old skate shoes from 2004, I think that I found at a garage sale. Um, and the sole of the shoes, it doesn't come down, it actually flares out. Like it was a big thick shoe already and yet the soles came out to make it even bigger and even thicker. Uh, the board feel was like nothing. I, it was, I just could look at the board and see that things were happening, but I couldn't tell from feel. And yet I did okay. You know, like it didn't make that big of a difference. After a while, you kind of get used to it. You adjust your, your feet a little bit um, and you just get, get by. It's okay. Like I switched grip tape um, this uh, there, this one time, there's there's a whole video where I talk about it. It's like a non-abrasive grip tape that I started to use. And when I first switched over to that, I had to basically relearn my tricks. Like I couldn't do a lot of stuff. I couldn't tell why. Is it more grippy? Is it less grippy? It just felt like maybe the timing had to change a little bit. And after two sessions or so, I was fine. I was back to normal. So like you can adapt to a lot more than you might think. I would just do what you have to do so your toes don't turn black and fall off and then hopefully you just force your way through it for a couple weeks and you'll be fine. Um, hopefully that helps. I wish I had a better answer for you. Next question is from Salim. It says, where do you stand with skating currently? Have you been doing it lately or have problems gotten in the way? Are you able health-wise in the foreseeable future? Will you keep posting related content, doing a few flips here and there, or will you pick it up and start progressing? Have you still got it? It's debatable whether I had it at all, um, but I do still skate. I've been trying to skate more and more um, even though it's been getting harder with the you know snow and the weather and everything it's been terrible this year as far as snow and everything um recently i built a eight by eight pad in my backyard to do freestyle stuff on i've filmed a few things there um, but more than that recently i've been going to skate parks so they built three in my town recently two of them are open one i'm not sure if it's open or not they kind of quit for the, the the winter they're all supposed to be open in the summer but they were like six months behind and then they just gave up so there's one that's technically open but it's not done i've been skating there a lot and uh it's been really weird it's been weird so i grew up with a driveway a box and a and like a shorter box 
I would say it's like a, a, a manual pad, but you can't do manuals on it because the it was super humid there in Michigan. I lived in like a swamp, basically. It was so humid that the, the plywood would get soft and squishy. So if you would try to land in a manual, your wheels would sink in and you would like fall off. Like you couldn't even do manuals on the manual pad. At, at one point, like it gets so soggy that you would break through it. So there was like a hole in the, the top of the, the manual pad where you would land, you know? Um, and so like, I couldn't even do manuals. All I could do at my house was flat ground in the driveway and grinds on a box. That's it. No grinds on flat bars. I didn't have any banks. I didn't have any hips. I didn't have any like down ledges or hubbas or like anything like that. So that's the only stuff I could do. And I got pretty good at freestyle and like flat ground flip tricks and stuff. And I could do some technical grinds, but like, you know, nothing big and fast and heavy, you know, like skate park style. So I've, I've been going to the skate park um, recently and it's been so weird because there's a guy there who, you know, like between runs through the skate park, he'll practice his kickflips and he's like still working on them. And yet he can fly off this thing and do a crook down it and land over here. Like my trick selection or like my skateboarding ability is so different from all the rest of the people there that it's really weird like i'll do some kind of grind like something that i'm trying to work on i'm trying to like i was trying to learn uh front side crooks i talked about those in my lance mountain video i did actually land one it was terrible i technically landed one now uh front crook or like a front nose slide uh, i was trying to do like a nose slide 360 shove it out like i'll land something like that that i'm actually working on and no one cares and then i'll do like a throwaway flat ground trick and people will be like stomping their board well not stomping their board like pounding their boards and clapping and stuff which is so weird for me so like the trick that i tried hard at for everyone else is no big deal but then the trick that i just threw out there is impressive to people because that's just how i i grew up with flat ground only so yeah i can do like a weird flip trick that you've never tried before but you can do all these grinds that i've never done before or, you know, maybe I've done the grinds, but I've done it at one mile an hour on a box. You did it down this ledge, you know, full speed. So right now what I'm trying to do is just be a little more normal, <laughs> like be able to go to the skate park and do normal stuff. I want to be able to like 5-0 down this ledge. I want to be able to gap out and do like a feeble on this round rail or something like that. Stuff that I just never had the opportunity to learn. But it feels so weird to me that I've been skating for 19 years and like I'm trying to do a board slide on something. You know what I mean? So it's it, it's weird. You're not going to see any of this because none of it's film worthy. But um, and it kind of doesn't feel great for me either. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I do skate as often as I can um, and uh, hopefully I will get a little better with normal, regular street stuff in the future. Next question is from Zayad who says, I'm applying to the US, I'm applying to a visa in the US to skate and it's a pain in the ass to get it. It made me think what it would take to have a country for skateboarders. To get a to get a citizenship, you only need to be a skateboarder. Like if skaters, skate brands, skate shops worldwide donated to buy an island that does not belong to any country and we made it a skate heaven. Skaters can go there, live and work. How possible is this to make a government, rules, policing, and services run by skateboarders in a skate mecca that is run by skaters? Also, would there be a president? <laughs> this is like the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, just imagine what it, what it would take, what it would be like to live in, a, in a, a world, like in a town, a city where everyone skates, like the mayor, the police officers. Like, what are the police going to do? They're not going to bust you for skating anymore, but they're still going to like, give you speeding tickets and, you know, investigate thefts and stuff like that, you know? So you have to find some bad police officers, but they happen to skate, so they're okay. You know what I mean? Like, well, that wouldn't do anybody any good. Um, or like the mayor who doesn't know anything about politics or like, you know, setting policies or whatever, but he can do a sweet tray flip. So we let him in the office. <laughs> it would be a disaster. Um, but I've, I've just been thinking this through. And uh, in the town, in the, 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 the city where I used to live, you had, if you built a new public building, um, well, not a public building, but like if you built a, a business or whatever, you had to give 1% of the budget 
to the city and they would use that for public art. So they would like paint a mural or put up a sculpture on the corner of two streets or something like that. And I, I just imagine like if there was a McDonald's on this skater island, uh, if uh, the franchise guy could skate, like that's probably good enough, right? Like the CEO of McDonald's doesn't have to skate, but like the local franchise guy does, I think. If he wanted to set up a McDonald's, he'd have to run his plan by the council, like the uh, planner uh, in the, the city council or whatever. And they would have to make sure that there's some street skating potential before you build. Um, I think that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, so like, oh, well, you know, we've already got lots of normal size curbs. Uh, we're gonna need you to put up like a uh, foot tall uh, with coping on it. That's the only way we'll allow you to build this building. Uh, you gotta make sure that the traffic flow is separate from this little area. You know, like everything has to be street skating approved by the council before you can build. Um, <laughs> it'd be funny, I guess, but it's just such a bad idea. I was thinking like, um, what if you have a kid and your kid, um, the skate Gestapo kicks down the door one day and drags him out, all the armed guards deport him back to America or whatever because he was watching like a scooter video or like follows scooters on Instagram. So he's like dragged out of the country. You know, at, at what age do you not qualify you know, if, if you're like five and you don't skate yet, okay, you, you get a pass. But by your sixth birthday, you better be able to kickflip, you know? Um, but you know what? It's no big deal. You're not going to have a kid because the population of the island is going to be 90% male anyway. So, like, <laughs> that's no fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny to think about. It's a terrible idea. Um, but it, the only thing I was thinking of is what if they made, like, a Disney World for skaters? You know, where it was like um, all kinds of different stuff. So you have like a, you know, lots of skate parks, of course, but there's like ones that are transition based. There's a fully vert one with lots of pools and like half pipes and stuff. There's a street plaza. There is a beginner street plaza where everything's like two stairs and like really short manual pads and stuff like that. Um, and there's all kinds of different stuff, but like that's just a big skate park. All the rest of this stuff doesn't matter. You don't have to have skateboard themed concession stands. You know, like I'm thinking Disney World type of style. You don't need like skate branded, you know, like food and everything. There's gotta be normal businesses. There's gotta be a car dealership. There's gotta be, you know, like a licensing office for, you know, like the DMV or whatever. There's gotta be a department store. And you know what? If I go to the grocery store right now, the guy who was punching in the code for what type of grapes that I bought, I don't need for him to be able to kickflip, you know? Who cares? He's helping me check out my produce purchase for the day. Who cares, you know? So if this island ever comes to exist, I'll come visit and I'll check it out, but I'm not gonna run for office while I'm there. So anyway, tell me your worst consequences for a skateboard island below. I think this one's kind of interesting to think about. But that's it for this time. If you got more questions, go to radratvideo.com and submit it there, or uh, send me an email, radratvideo at gmail.com, and I will get to that uh, the same either way. You can also submit them through Patreon, and I will definitely answer them if I get them through there. Um, until that happens, tap my logo in the center of the screen to subscribe, and YouTube has suggested some videos for you uh, that I made as well. And thanks for watching. See you next time.